So, here we go again, a video about YouTube censorship. Um, and this is my liked playlist. So obviously some of these videos have been displayed. And the, but the issue is quite a few videos don't get displayed. These are this is the history and quite a few of these haven't gotten displayed. Um, let me be specific. Here's a family guy. This one did get displayed. And I'm trying to show you the ones that didn't get displayed. Because that's the only way to document this. So this one, Family Guy, Peter stands in front of the tanks. This one I, I liked, but it has not gotten displayed. And so I'm beginning to set this precedent because so many times the videos I click don't get displayed. So now every time I find a video that's not getting displayed on my like playlist, I'm commenting. And here's my comment. This video is not visible in my liked playlist. YouTube has been shadow banning some videos. I've witnessed this kind of censorship on YouTube since before 2016. And the same thing on this other video. It's the same theme. This one I liked. And I'll show you why how it's not in my liked playlist. So these are the ones that did show up in my liked playlist. Family Guy, there's one, but it's not either of the ones I showed you. What happened at Tiananmen Square? Another Family Guy buys a tank. Notice none of the Family Guy Peter stands next to a tank. Neither of them, where he was actually in Tiananmen Square, neither of them show up. And I'll point out those videos again very quickly. This one didn't show up even though I liked it. Where'd it go? There's another one. Oh, no, that one showed up. This one, these two, both of these two didn't show up. Family Guy, Peter stands and stops the tank. Family Guy, Peter stands in front of a tank. Neither of those showed up. Now this one did, so it's a similar subject, but it's not Tiananmen, Tiananmen Square. Those two, for some reason, I guess China has influence or in America because an American cartoonist is being banned for displaying stuff about Tiananmen Square. And this is not China, this is America. Um, so then the next thing is this one. I liked it. It's good that Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un are having a bromance. But this one was not displayed in my liked playlist either. So do you think it's fair that some videos are censored and some others aren't? I, I'm a free speech absolutist. I don't think censorship is right, whether China does it or America does it or North Korea does it or a liberal agenda does it to a conservative agenda. 
or a conservative agenda does it to a liberal agenda. It doesn't matter. Censorship is wrong, especially for America. Which is why I'm showing the whole video. So, same thing, I liked it. Disappeared. This is dangerous yeah. press, but you, uh, you might want to just tell Lois the truth. What, that I can't provide for my family, that, that she's always right, that I didn't really stand up to that tank at the end of a square? Huh, screw this. Take a ship, I'm going to buy some fireworks. And there's honestly a whole lot more. I mean, I can only show a few for this short video. Those were the ones that were, you know, on interesting subjects. This one was about tanks rolling through the street in DC for the 4th of July ceremony. And as you can see, I wrote that I like here let me do this in real time because I liked it before but it didn't show up but obviously the like didn't even show up so I'm gonna like it and now obviously you see that I liked it it's tanks roll through the streets of DC for the 4th of July and I don't like that it's happening I liked the video now let's go to my liked playlist and see if it shows up it should if it should if it's not there it would have been at the top of the list if that video was visible and as you can see it's nowhere on the list let me try refreshing nope go back to the history you can see that I liked it in my history I liked it there at least there's still a like on it and they haven't taken off the like but let me try to do a double check on it so y'all can see um, it's not just a glitch, it's actual censorship. Okay, you can see that's unliked. Let's refresh it again. Give it a little time. Refresh it again. Now I'm gonna like it. Refresh it again, make sure the like is still there. Um, well, it's not blue anymore, but the like is still there. Now there's two of them. Okay, there's just one of them. Let's go 
to see if it's in my liked playlist. And it's not. Refresh it again. Okay, I just unclicked it. Liked it. Let's refresh it and see if the like is still there. Still there. Let's go look at my liked playlist. And no, it's not not visible at all. So now that's on one subject topic. So I guess they don't like that subject I don't know maybe it's just the particular people that are posting those subjects it does seem like YouTube is shadow banning I hope I'm using that term in the right way now here's another one that's a little sketchy so in Texas they're talking about the water pollution and how one family had flesh eating bacteria and the the guy got cut and he died and more discussion of a virus f sorry flesh e they call it flesh eating bacteria this guy explains that it's not actually flesh eating it's a bacteria that causes infection and eventually gain green so that's pretty gross but here's one two three videos that were posted on that topic and they are pretty graphic but one of the videos, strangely enough, about the water quality in the area rivers was not visible. This one. It's the same news station. Mason and Dylan are not allowed to go in. At the beginning of June, the water was high, it was flowing well, so that's why I let them get in and just, like, not submerge, but just kind of go put their feet in the water. Two days later, three-year-old Dylan was in pain. She was waking up at night crying that it hurt, and it started, it went from, from zero to ten, it started looking really bad. The eczema on the inside of her elbow on her right arm had turned into a full-blown infection despite her mom's best efforts. I had Neosporin and Band-Aids in my bag, so after they splashed in the water, I had hand sanitizer and I put took the Band-Aid off that she had and then put Neosporin and a new bandage on, and then as soon as we got home, we all showered. Dylan's skin started blistering after an initial trip to the doctor, so her mom took her to the emergency room at Dell Children's Medical Center. Another woman tells KXAN she's dealing with staph infection in And so this is about upstream from here at a public Hill outbreak. Hill. And another man says he ended and up it's actually Utah being censored also. Swimming at Georgetown's Blue Hole. So and let me do double check Around again. The Here's ending up in the emergency room. Definitely think there's a connection between being in the water and, the and um, what she went through. Right. She'd like to see it tested. And even though no public warnings have been issued, this mom has one. You know, until Adult We've been trying to get to the bottom of the issue today. We wondered if these are just typical summer swimming concerns or if there's a larger problem with the water quality. KXAN investigator Aaron Cargill is here with what she's learned. Aaron, or Auburn City. Make sure it's there. Okay, now that now if this was being displayed it would come up at the top of my liked playlist and as you can see it's not there and it's liked and children say they are ending up in the emergency room with serious infections after swimming in the san gabriel river we've been trying to get to the bottom of the so i'm actually calling on all youtubers to do this we should police YouTube as as they police us. If they're going to block videos, especially ones calling out health risks 
And, you know, this is a Texas news station. Why are they blocking it? It, it just gives you the heads up that people are getting serious infections after swimming in the San Gabriel River. And it goes on to discuss why that's a possibility. You know, they were talking about maybe a sewage concern, maybe just natural virus. I don't know what it is. I mean, it, it it does seem like there's a lot of water problems right now in Texas, and it could be because Trump has uh, rolled back a lot of environmental protections. But it does seem that these are being censored also. Even though I liked it, it's not visible in my liked playlist. And there are others, of course, tons of others. But I'm trying to highlight a few. Let me see if I can find one on that same subject matter. Here we go. Lead, arsenic, and now Teflon. What's in your water? Now this is Russia today. My wife likes to tell people... And that's an advertisement. RT America. And I've liked this one. And this one also is not visible in my liked playlist. YouTube has been shadow banning some videos. I've witnessed this kind of censorship on YouTube since before 2016. Let's give you a little taste of this. Uh, drinking video. water that scientists have. Similar, similar subject matter, of course. And that's why I was trying to put it together in my liked playlist. You know there's a toxin found in some uh, drinking water that scientists have not completely been up front about. What is this toxin? It's a chemical. It's found in Teflon, right? The stuff that's supposed to be able to make your nothing stick to it, right? It's believed to be in our water now at a rate 700 times higher than the federal guidelines. Here tonight is RT correspondent Natasha Sweet. According to a leading toxicologist, a Teflon toxin found in some drinking waters need to be 700 times lower than what the Environmental Protection Agency is recommending. This toxin is known by its acronym, PFOA, the manufactured chemical makes it into our drinking water and some foods because it's used in stain-resistant carpets, fabrics, nonstick cookware, and other products. The new data suggests the threshold for PFOA in drinking water should be as low as 0.1 parts per trillion. Linda Birnbaum, director for the National Institute for Environmental Health Sciences, unleashed this bombshell at a conference at Northeastern University. She says that's a whopping 700 times less than the current EPA guidelines. Previous research has also linked PFOA to kidney and testicular cancer. The recent studies are now linking pancreatic cancer to PFOA exposure. The research was conducted by the National Toxicology Program. In this study, male rats given doses of PFOA developed both cancerous and non-cancerous tumors in the pancreas. At the lowest of three levels in the experiment, 20 out of 50 rats developed the tumors. The two-year study also revealed liver tumors. Birnbaum says PFAS, also found in Teflon, affected breast development, issuing problems with lactation and growth of the mammary gland. But according to the American Cancer Society, Teflon nor PFOA is listed as causing cancer. It only mentions the possibility. Now, there's been some controversy over some studies being conducted in this area not yet being published. Some researchers are maintaining that more studies need to be done in this area, and some states like California, New Jersey, and Vermont are taking... So... Let's try again. You know there's a toxin found in... You know there's a toxin found in some uh, drinking water? Researchers are maintaining that more studies need to be done in this area, and some states like California, New Jersey, and Vermont are taking matters into their own hands, already upping their standards, advising for less PFOA in the water. In Los Angeles, Natasha Sweet, RT. So you haven't heard that we're the ones covering the stories that you won't see covered anywhere else in Venezuela, Kazakhstan. Let's go to Hong Kong. And the media reaction to that has been crickets. How about the way we cover those stories? What the hell does that mean? Wally, Wally, Wally. That's the key word in this case, uprising. Can you, can you believe that? 
watching. This is the right thing for members of the media to do, to actually pick sides. Look, if you like what you see, subscribe. likes. So what's so special about these seeds anyway? You ask a lot of questions, Morty. Not very charismatic. It makes you kind of a <laughs> under, uh, underfoot figure. Just take these shoes, Morty. They're <laughs> special crapwood shoes. When you wear these things, babe, these babies, you can basically just walk on any surface you want, Morty. Up, down, below, turn around to the left. These things really bring it all together. <laughs> you have to turn them on, Morty. Where's the sex robot, Morty? That is Gwendolyn. Uh, I mean, the robot. She started beeping and it transformed and tried to fly away. Strange. That's usually the man's job. You know what I'm talking about, Morty? Wubble up and up, dub. <laughs> So let's try again in real time. <laughs> Rick installs hey, interdimensional uh, cable wait, again. Saying, huh? Uh, no, no, no. Click I'm like. Just, I'm just looking at that lady over there getting coffee. What's up with her face? Is she a human or is she like Worf? You know Worf from Star Trek, how he has all that shit all over his face? Oh, look, that one made it. Okay, so, obviously these really raunchy, cursing videos okay. with a bunch of really crazy stuff get through. Where's the sex robot, Morty? That is Gwendolyn. Uh, I mean, the robot. She started beeping and it transformed and tried to fly away. Strange. That's usually the man's job. You know what I'm talking about, Morty? Wubble up and up, dub. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> That's my catchphrase, remember? But unfortunately, health so warnings don't get you through. Ask a lot of questions, Morty. Not very charismatic. It makes you kind of a under, uh, underfoot figure. Just take these shoes, Morty. They're special grappling shoes. When you. And that's the story of YouTube censorship today. My video for July the 3rd, 2019 is video number 3135. The title is My Continuing Search for Answers and Solutions. Well, that one I continue through. to re-examine John Pinella's Mystery of the Divine Secret Garden series, and I am in the final book in the three-part Time Loop Chronicles as I prepare this video. Uh, Once again, make your summer unforgettable. Come join the fun in Baltimore Park and Waterworld, featuring the tri-state areas. U.S. Border Patrol says they're investigating reports of disturbing social media activity on a secret Facebook group for Border Patrol agents. These okay, so this one's not. This one's not Latina getting posted. Twisted remarks about migrant deaths. Meanwhile, members of Congress got a first-hand look at some of the detention facilities. Holding okay, so you see one in real time. I liked it. What did they learn? Let's try to refresh this and see what I can figure out. U.S. Border Patrol says they're investigating reports so of CNN is being banned. Activity on a secret Facebook group for Border Patrol agents. These posts included vulgar comments. So David Pacman's observation is not a hundred percent right. Meanwhile, Let me give you an example of what David Pakman is seeing on YouTube. So as you can see, that video, that CNN video, Border Patrol agents under fire for disturbing Facebook posts, published July 2nd, 2019, is not, is not showing up. Um, this video is not visible in my liked playlist. Got a first-hand look at some of the detention facilities 
holding these migrants and seeing that Valencia is live in Clint, Texas with more. What did they learn? Good morning, Allison. The National Border Patrol Chief and the U.S. Border Patrol Council were quick to, uh, to, to condemn those social media posts, but what they did do is bring added scrutiny to an agency just as members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus showed up to where the facilities here along the southern border. Well, you know there's a toxin. U.S. Customs and Border Protection under fire and under investigation, digging into what it calls disturbing and completely inappropriate social media posts, allegedly written by current and former employees in a closed Facebook group. ProPublica first exposing I'm 1015, the group reportedly named after a code for undocumented immigrants in custody. One post about the father and daughter who drowned last week crossing the Rio Grande. According to the website, one member asked if the photo could have been faked because the bodies were so clean. When questioned about the disturbing posts, President Trump said he did not see them. Well, the Border Patrol, they're patriots, they're great people. They love our country, they know what's coming in. CNN obtaining these screen grabs from the group, responding to a story about a pregnant teenager and baby held in CBP custody for over a week. One commenter posting, from the bottom of my heart, I don't give a f According to ProPublica, members also shared lewd and sexist content about Latina Congress members, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Every time I use a setting spray, I try to use it as a skin prep and also a skin prep. Um, each one of these allegations will be thoroughly investigated. Sorry, 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 members sorry. Members also shared lewd and sexist content about Latina Congress members, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. These do not represent the thoughts of the men and women of the U.S. Border Patrol. Um, each one of these allegations will be thoroughly investigated. All this comes as the New York Congresswoman toured two West Texas detention facilities with other House Democrats, the lawmakers leaving outraged by the conditions. What we saw today was unconscionable. No child should ever be separated from their parent. And I agree. Not against their will, at least. Now, here's what David Pacman is saying. Exactly how it is that the YouTube algorithm is doing a lot to hurt uh, the David Pacman show. And last week, I focused mostly on the ways in which our traffic from YouTube's suggested video feed has fallen off of a cliff. And that story resonated with people hugely. The YouTube clip that we did where I just explained, here is how the YouTube algorithm is crushing us when it comes to suggesting our content has surpassed 200,000 views in just a few days. And as a reminder, in case you didn't see that or you forgot about it, we used to regularly get about three and a half million views per month from YouTube, uh, including our content in the suggested videos. So this means that you're browsing around content on YouTube that is not David Pakman Show content, and uh, alongside it or down below it, YouTube will say, hey, here's some stuff that you might like, and some of those clips are from the David Pakman Show. We used to get, as I said, about three and a half million views per month from that algorithmic series of suggestions. That number dropped to barely 1.5 million in June. So the shortfall just in that bucket of views, the suggested content from YouTube, is 2 million views per month, okay? A drop of 2 million views per month. Listen, most YouTube channels don't get 2 million views a year, never mind per month. And for us, our shortfall in views just from the suggested video algorithm is about 2 million views per month. That's a huge amount of revenue for us, as I've said before. Uh, YouTube's terms and conditions don't allow uh, partners. All right, to so I'm going to skip him about talking revenue. about how he needs more money. Legacy corporate sources. So this now is, this is uh, my criticism uh, here. So whereas I mean, before, we went, so but it's on. a lot of money to lose two million views a month just from that. And what it appears is happening is that YouTube is recommending more establishment, legacy, corporate channels over the David Pakman show. So whereas before, now that is the issue. It's not a hundred percent sure. Not a hundred percent true. They're not, well, maybe, let me, let me pause with what I'm saying. Maybe in the context he's talking about it. Not in the context I'm talking about it, because we just saw a CNN video that was shadow banned. It was not showing up in my liked playlist. Uh, we also saw a mainstream news channel that was talking about a health issue in Texas that did not show up in my liked playlist. 
I don't know if those are legacy corporate channels, and, it, and I'm not talking about the context of them suggesting those videos in relation to my videos, because I did find them, but once I found them, I wasn't able to like them and have them be visible in my liked playlist. Now, David's complaint is slightly different. Let me let you hear what he has to say. If you went and looked at a clip of whatever, um, uh, Stephen Colbert, along the side, previously, it, it was more likely that a David Pakman show video would be recommended. Now, it's more likely that you're going to get recommendations from CNN, uh, from the other late night talk shows, from establishment, legacy, corporate sources. So this is uh, a direct a negative to independent media sources like ours. I also last week alluded to another piece of the problem, and this is uh, a, a completely unrelated problem that's also absolutely destructive. And it makes me wonder, is YouTube trying to get me to quit? Are, are they trying to get me to just stop doing what we do? And the problem is what I would consider completely brand safe videos with nothing controversial, nothing problematic, nothing gory or violent or anything like that being demonetized individually. This is a double... So this is important what he just said. And if you haven't noticed, the things that are not censored or shadow banned are all of the above of the first category he would have assumed might have been censored or shadow banned. You know, goring th gory things are getting through... Let me repeat that. And the problem is what I would consider completely brand safe videos with nothing controversial, nothing problematic, nothing gory or violent or anything like that being demonetized individually. And not only demonetized, but I can corroborate what he's saying and take it a step further to say they're being shadow banned. They're not just, they're not just being demonetized. They're being completely banned in some cases. And in some cases, that's a public health risk when you consider the, the, the local news that says there's a potential health risk, don't go, you know, be careful of the water in Texas. Uh, you, if you want to have that reference, go back to the beginning of this video. Um, but, you know, those are the things that are getting hidden and the things that are not getting hidden are gory, are violent, are anything controversial, many things controversial, many things, uh, let me say that right, many, many things that are, I showed you that, I'm not trying to criticize Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty is a funny show, I'm a free speech absolutist, I don't think anything should be banned or censored, but when the, when the worst glint or uh, curse word type things are banned, and the and the normal stuff. This is, I'm, uh, is the. I'm sorry. I'm trying to say the opposite. And the and the normal stuff is banned, and the gory, violent, curse word type things are not banned. It, you know, either way, the the complaint from me is that some things are getting banned, and that's a problem. A double crush of the David Pakman Show YouTube channel, because on the one hand, YouTube is recommending our content less frequently, instead recommending corporate legacy content. And on the other hand, it's making it so that- I just don't agree 100%, but uh, maybe in his context, that's true. I haven't seen what exactly what he's saying. This is a good video. Subscribers so are the rest of the videos that I look at. Um, I want to give adequate credit before this video runs out to... God, I wish my stupid smartphone didn't constantly have an auto out-of-focus issue. I can't keep the brightness correct on this thing. And sometimes I think my cell phone is part of the problem, too. I mean, like, literally trying to make this video, and it's obviously too bright. I can't even turn down the, the brightness enough. There we go. Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Just trying to show you, there we go, liked videos. <sighs> trying to show you uh, some credit where credit is due here. Um, the water one, one more time. Oh, here's another one. 
AP. But to know that it's happening right here on our border where we live, that that people are regularly I like dying this one because of the of the way that they've Didn't been forced it. to uh, take more and more dangerous paths to cross. Uh, to know that, that this one is banned is uh, not visible on my liked playlist. Uh, put in situations that make them ill. That threaten. Ma their that's what I'm getting at. Like some really important videos are not visible um and i wanted to give credit to one more that wasn't visible and again here's let me pronounce it right k x a n news this is the discussion about the water issue and most of the discussion about the water issue got through this one got through this one got through. It's this one that did not get through, even though I liked it. For Robert and Sydney, first I want to let you guys and viewers at home know that we're going to show you one person's infection. The pictures are a little graphic, but for but it wasn't it wasn't about, as graphic as the, river, one the one that did get through. And this is what's so inconsistent: things people might think or why it didn't get through, or not why it didn't get through. I don't know why it didn't get through. Possibly because they're looking at a particular agency in the department of state health services none of them are investigating this and say they are not doing any water testing right now which is triggered by complaints and so far only one complaint has been filed with tcq i've been encouraging everyone who's reached out to us to file those complaints with the agencies some people wonder if the infections could be tied to violations so i'm filing my complaint with the agency of youtube Please stop censoring important videos. Please, please stop shadow banning important videos. Shows no problem since March, and he pointed out natural bodies of water are always going to carry bacteria, which can get much worse when we get more rain. Anyway, another censor censorship video. Uh, to know that people and young families who are seeking nothing but a safe place to, where they can, can live and work, um, that certainly is a source of moral outrage and uh, clear contradiction to the gospel. Follow me and my adventure through this office.